now with the Forerunner Chronicles. And uh, right now, we have a very interesting guest uh, via telephone. Uh, the reason that he can't do a video interview with me at this time is because the information that he's going to be sharing with us is extremely sensitive in nature. And to protect himself, uh, we're going to be doing this as a telephone interview. Anyhow, um, our guest right now, Soldier X, are you with us? Yes. All right. Now, uh, before we jump into some of this information, because, uh, you know, we had to stop for a minute before earlier, but you were touching on a lot of interesting things. We need everybody out there to hear about this. But um, can you please just give everybody a little bit of your background to let them know uh, your military involvement and uh, why, why you are obviously a person of interest because you would, uh, because of your military involvement, you've been placed in predicaments to come across very interesting information. Okay. When uh, I started in 2000 in the Army, I, mean, I, I, uh, I was in the Air Force from uh, one graduate, and then uh, to several other training bases. Also, uh, my last training and my last, uh, my last involvement with the Army was with uh, uh, you ask me why, uh, why am I interested in getting this information out? It's simply because it affects us all. Whether you're a soldier, whether you're a politician, whatever you are, um, this is going to affect us all because it goes from the highest to the lowest, and uh, it, it's definitely a concern for humanity. Amen. I love that. So now, the um. We were talking a little bit earlier about uh, the whole situation with the buildup of UN troops here in the United States of America, right? Right. Um, can you jump into that and uh, just kind of touch on that information once again? Okay. We'll start with Texas. Texas has a buildup of Russian troops for a chemical unit, the same chemical unit that was deployed to Afghanistan in the 80s to uh, chemically take care of the Afghan people, not just the Polish Afghan but uh, the people as well. They guessed everything in every morning. Yeah. Um, and, and Fort Bragg, there was a buildup of uh, German troops, and they're basically just sitting and waiting. And then in uh, Florida and Everglades, there's about 20,000 uh, Chinese troops. And this is all taking place right now. And you said that all of these guys are on standby right now. They're all on standby. None of them are doing training with us. Um, <laughs> it's, it's all a it's all, uh, 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 standby for them when the superhighway that they have going from Canada down to Mexico is implemented and when all the highways are uh, interlooped with each other to make people, you know, go back to where the, the origin of where they came from. The, uh, most of the troops, the European troops, have come down from Canada uh, down to the United States. The ones that are already here will then disperse. Mm. So any, any hostile uh, Americans that come across, they'll, they'll have a chance to... Um, to get before uh, full war breaks out. It's the plan to build a massive superhighway, the Trans-Texas Corridor, the NAFTA Superhighway, which will run from our border with Mexico across Texas, and that superhighway intended to go all the way up to Canada. Bill Tucker has the report. It's known as the TTC, the Trans-Texas Corridor, I-69, or just the NAFTA Superhighway. One, two, three, four! It's highly controversial. The proposed route from Laredo, Texas to Texarkana, Texas would be a 4,000 mile network of new toll roads with truck and car lanes, rail lines, pipeline and utility zones. Its projected cost, $183 billion over 50 years. Leonard Cobb is a wheat and grain farmer from Bell County. His operation sits just outside Rogers, Texas, and in the middle of one of the proposed paths of the now defunct Trans-Texas Corridor. Even though the Texas Department of Transportation says the TTC is officially dead, Cobb is leery about their revised plans. When you look at the plan that's out there, really nothing's really changed that much. But basically they're saying 600 feet instead of 1,200 feet. But I don't know if anybody's ever walked off 600 feet somewhere, but that's still a pretty wide road. 